Hey guys, welcome to the video. So, will AI being able to write algorithms, because apparently there is some AI coming out there that can actually write algorithms, is this a threat to developers? Is it over for developers? Short answer is no. And people know my answer if they watch my videos. And the reason it's no, because number one, development has very little to do with writing algorithms. You know, I keep stressing this. People are concerned about, some people anyway, are concerned about algorithms, algorithms. I gotta write algorithms for this test. Uh, thing is, unless you're doing AI, and even that, I imagine it will diminish over time. The need to develop your own complex algorithms is going to just diminish quite a bit, simply because once it is developed, it is turned into a library. And then this library is exposed through a Python module or from, or through some sort of third party API, which you can consume from any language. So the need for algorithm writing is really, really overstated in the uh, community amongst the young uh, diapered nerdlings. So I wouldn't be so concerned about AI writing uh, algorithms. I think it's a good thing. Also using AI to debug code. Again, another good thing. For me, debugging code is akin to digging ditches. Uh, it is not the most fun work. It's not creative uh, for the most part. It is just, you know, looking for uh, problems in the code and figuring it out. It's really, I don't know, I guess it could be satisfying for some people. I don't really like uh, debugging too much. Although there's a lot of debugging development. That's why it's a good idea to use an IDE, an integrated development environment, because when you use an IDE, uh, it has all kinds of tools built into there to make debugging easier for you. So again, to reiterate, do I think that AI is going to destroy developer jobs? Well, maybe someday in the distant future. But I have to tell you, long before AI destroys developer jobs, it's going to destroy a whole bunch of other jobs way before that. You have to understand. Uh, and I assume a lot of people watching this video are beginners when it comes to software development. The code that you write is secondary to uh, development in a sense. Um, the structure, the structuring of applications, uh, figuring out what to, what code to use, what languages to use, what APIs to use, what frameworks to use, uh, designing how all this code interacts, uh, the usability, these are all things that are the complexities in coding. And so for me, uh, I'm not so concerned about algorithm writing. Do I think that AI will be able to do all those things I just mentioned, which is the heart and soul of what it is to be a developer? No, that's way too complex. That's way too complex. You know, cars still can't even drive down a road properly, let alone design very complex systems. And even if Apparently, Elon Musk thinks within a year or so they're going to have fully self-driving cars with Tesla, which I'm all for, by the way. Um, even if those fully self-driving, fully autonomous level five cars come out, I still think uh, that's still primitive in terms of cognitive capacity, in terms of capability relative to uh, building apps from scratch. So again, there are some new developments. I'm going to do a couple of videos on this, maybe this week or earlier next week. I'll go over some details for you guys. But it is coming. And I look at AI as assistive technology. Assisted, assistive, meaning it assists you in your job, rather than replacing. Will it replace certain tasks that you may do? For sure. But it still doesn't threaten developer jobs. It just shifts the responsibility from developers from doing certain mundane tasks to more creative tasks, more advanced tasks, perhaps. And it makes the job easier, makes it more fun. Uh, I have to tell you, I've seen this evolution since the 1990s when I started writing code commercially. What we used to have to do in the 90s to get out a web app was a, there was a lot of work, a lot of things we had to build from scratch, like a date picker is the example I like to use. 
back in the 1990s, there was no HTML5 uh, date uh, tag, you know? We had to uh, build date pickers from scratch. Then later on, of course, jQuery came out with something, and there was other solutions as well. But those were godsends. When those uh, tools came out, I didn't go, oh no, we're gonna lose our jobs, we won't be building date pickers anymore. No, I just looked at it and I said, this is a great thing. I don't have to build a stupid date picker anymore. So as AI is introduced more and more into the game, I think it's a good thing. I think you're gonna uh, appreciate it when AI is helping you to debug, to better organize the code. Uh, clean it up for you so you can spend more time on the fun part on uh, the grand the big picture on designing things etc etc if an ai could chase down bugs for you so you didn't have to chase them down as much fantastic i think it's a good thing